I might say, look, it started out like this. I might not even have sex with him. I'm just talking to him. Now he's sitting down. Now I got my hand around his. I'm just talking to him. And it's stuff, then I'm doing this. It, it's a build up. <clears throat> but the thing is, why the Catholic Church do what we like to do when it comes to talking? They do this right here. Or they send them somewhere else. Okay, we're going to send you to California to another church with that same history. If these Catholic priests, knowingly, break these boards, they're not going to prison, they're not getting prosecuted, you got evidence, you got documentation, but they want to lock them up. So what? Somebody's not just getting I don't get it. Because if you're saying to me that the Catholic Church has paid millions of dollars out for hush money for these people not to talk, and you have evidence of it, these nasty bastards should go to jail. Period. Should. Jail and hell. Should. Should. They used to talk about the Catholic Church. They used to say, go to any city and look for the biggest church. Most times it's going to be Catholic Church. And they don't need your money. Everything paid for them. That's you know, the Vatican is the only spot in the world that don't have to show you any financial records. Name me one other place in the world that ain't got to show you any financial records. And I always used to say this. If the, if the show the right, please. Please. Right. And the angle on that, just like a rock, that's voluntary. There's no law that says it's happening. Voluntary. We just get upset when you don't do it. But you really ain't got to. A rock ain't got to. No president ain't got to. But they do for the transparency of the people. We know what you're dealing with with Trump. Right? You know what you're dealing with with Trump. I'm just waiting for them to come out and say Melania been getting tore up by this black boy every time he go on that chop. I'm just waiting for that story. Because you know they ain't even in the same bedroom. They ain't even in the same bedroom. Huh? Yeah, the last time they had sex was probably when she had Baron, the baby. Did she have Baron? Is that by her? Yeah. Baron ain't by her. Yes, that's her child. And he and how long he gonna stay in that private school? They don't even want you. To, they don't even show no pictures of him. How long is that boarding school? Or is he boarded up? He's autistic. He's autistic. Okay, I'm gonna leave him alone. You don't mess with autistic. He's at a boarding school. Unless it's Rain Man. But that boy, you no, dropped two picks on the ground. You can tell he can't breathe. The man cannot breathe. Who? Donald Trump can't breathe. Have you ever have you ever I know he can't write. You ever look at some of his posts? He misspelled. I know he can. I, I know he can do. That's why he will not read. He can play a porn star. That's what he did. That's what you're The man, he, he practices before he goes out. So that's why he goes off the teleprompter all the time because he cannot read it. The teleprompter is too fast for him. And, and secondly, he didn't write it. So if he can't write it, he can't read it, he's, he's in trouble. Saying, he's in trouble. That's why he's always off the rails. All the time. The, the man, if, if you have uh, scrutinized Barack Obama for his educational preferences. Right. Right? Saying that he's not smart, he needs to show his grades. Okay, now you're in that same predicament, you're in that same that same uh, realm. Right. Why don't you show your records? You know what he did? He had Michael Cohen go and threaten the schools to not release his records. That yeah, Trump went to. Yes. Every single one of them. Every single one of them. That's fact. The man is retarded. Yeah. Period. Alright, I'm gonna clap for that. I'm gonna clap. Because we know they ain't doing it seven days a week. Hell no, seven times a year. Hey, listen. Did anybody hear what he said this though? Because this threw me off, fam. Did you hear what Trump said? My daughter is beautiful. And if I wasn't a daddy, I'd probably say What? Who says that? Really, for real though, joking or anything, who says that? Just so, what did we learn tonight, beautiful people? That seven days a week is a thing. I'm going to tell my nephew, y'all just talk and come to a friendly compromise. 
so that everything stays fresh. You talk, come to a friendly compromise so everything stays fresh. Your wife wants it seven days a week. You good for three to four. You're going to have to come to a compromise. Uh, what you say? What you say? <laughs> clap for that. Clap, please. Clap. <laughs> He's going to have to do something to switch it up. But I think he'll be all right, though, because marriage is longevity. So, you know, if you get a new car, you ain't trying to put 150,000 miles on it the first month, are you? Right. Blah. Something That's why you done went through four cars out there. That's your fourth car. Right. Got them out. Everybody ain't doing that. That's a running car. Shoot. You are way out the front end messing around with you. Your tires need to be rotated. So I think pace is good. Honesty is good, too. But you can hurt people's feelings when it's sex, when you talk about sex. You can, because if you got an ego, you can't tell me, like, you can't tell me that I'm not up to par for your needs. And then the female telling me that you ain't sex. But that's what you signed up for. That's what you got to listen to. That's part of being in a marriage. And that's what I'm going to tell my nephew. You're going to have to talk, communicate, and get your compromise. And everything will be good. Everything will be good. You're going to have to find you projects. Y'all going to have to do like little projects. You know? Because he also said she has no limitations. Yeah. Which means she like, she come to the bedroom asking stuff. Hey, what you think about two chickens? <laughs> yeah, two chickens. What you think about two chickens in a remote control tractor trailer? Huh? What we going to do with the tractor trailer? Turn around. Uh, no. Uh, hold up. That's a million dollar question. I was waiting for somebody to ask this. Yes, he is. I'm sure he did, but because you, you, man, it's hard to keep that up. You think that's a thing? Like we can't say I did that to get him, and then when I get married, that thing went down here, and it happened with him. You got to keep that thing up because I'm tell you why. If if she, I'm gonna give you an example. If she comes, if you met her in a sexual relationship, and you got a person that, that loves sex. You got to maintain that because if you don't, somebody else will. That's where cheating comes from. Yeah. We were just talking about that on the compromise, right? You better yeah. on that. Clap. Yeah, clap, clap. But that's what we were talking about. So that don't happen. Right. And that's God has cut your mic off. Yeah. <laughs> God got your mic off. You just talking about three days. He was like, you're long ago. <laughs> you know, Tom needs it for three days. Now, you said you can do it more than three days. <laughs> you said you didn't want it seven days a week. So we good. He said 51. Right, but but I, I if you offered it, though, <laughs> ain't like I'm going to turn it down. Ain't like I'm going to be like, boy, it's going to off the hook. I ain't seen this episode, Delana. Go put your clothes on. Or it's gonna be shoo, right there. But you don't offer it like that. No, I'm not. Cause you, you know, you fickle. I don't see I can catch you. You know, you moody. I gotta catch you right. You know you. It's not moody. Your head, my head, is in, in, in mine and emotions are attached to my hood. So it's not about being moody. You have to be in the mood. You know what I mean? Like I can't just come out of robot and I'm out of computer. So you can't just walk in and expect it to get wet or expect me to say, okay, I want to have sex. Right. The same way there's a bill with me. And to me, that's the part of the compromise. That's what men know that women, we're more emotional, more intuitive. So we need to be more stimulated. You all can look at some nice ass, look at some titties. A woman can look at you a certain way and you get a little hard. A woman, it takes more than that. We can see a dick get plump, or you can do some little face rejections, and we might get a little tingly, but that doesn't mean that we ready to drop, stop, and roll. So, therefore, all of that stuff is connected. Clap, y'all, clap. I got to clap on that. All y'all got to clap. I agree, but I'm going to say this. Not every man is a sexual being like a woman. Because just because you get naked don't mean that my dick gotta get hard. Woo. You know what I'm saying? Hold up, hold up right there, Black. Hold up right there. No, hold up. Clap, clap for that part. I gotta, I'm gonna show you my stuff. Did y'all hear that? Yeah. He just said, Pam. heard it, bro. Just because you naked right. don't mean he got to get hard. Go. Now, ladies, Sheena, <laughs> walking around the room in a thong, 
naked and the dick don't get hard. See, no. see, see, that's what I wanted to ask. Because y'all go, because y'all go straight to, well, what's wrong no. with you? Mm. Mm. you somebody better answer this. That just because my dick don't get hard because she get naked, don't mean that I won't wear that ass out. Because when I get ready, when I, uh, uh, when we doing our thing, she get naked and go around the house or whatever, but when it's time to lay down in their bed or get on the couch in the front room or whatever, I'm wearing that ass out and she knows it. Sometimes you gotta make it work. You, and you meant that too, because the whole time you talking, your eyes, your eyes were big as hell. That's when you go back and tell the truth. And when she got on that couch, or the she try to wear her ass out. But when her eyes get big, we ain't lying. What? What you saying, mama? Don't make me tell her. Don't make me tell her. Oh, right. oh. <laughs> That's the myth. You walk around naked. We don't, we don't get excited about it. Y'all think something wrong with us. That's a myth. But you just heard what he said. So it's some truth where you can, we ain't got to get like that. We still see you, but when it's time to go, we ready to go. Right? Right. And we walk around in front of you ladies, y'all don't stop. Y'all don't. You don't do that. We walk around, nigga. Y'all don't start all that, no. do you? No, we don't. See, so that's what we saying. It's good, it's good, it's good he says the time and place for everything is mental. The trainer told you that thing mental. That stimulation right there. And that's the same thing I'm saying. That's mental. So the same thing with the woman's vagina. It's a mental thing. I don't think that it should just be banged out. But we got that. We, I was trying to make a point because a lot of women, if you walk in a room naked on your sex. And you don't see this. Not necessarily. You be like, and that was just more so said as an analogy. Like, I don't think that truth. every man who look at a pair of titties and look at some ass and see a naked woman gets a heart. I'm just saying I'm more so that men are more physical than women. Women are more emotional and internal. Uh oh. And men are more physical. Hold on, Yolanda. Hold on. Hold on. What you say? She said when you walk in the room, she get the zoom regardless. She said what? She said when you walk in the room, she zoom all right. It's mental. Yeah. Yeah. And the bottom you or it ain't. He said how old are you? If it ain't no emotions attached, it ain't no weakness. I'm twenty two. But like I said, it's it's still no 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 no. It's still all mental. Cause I don't have this without emotions. You won't catch me in a room with nobody without emotions. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's a good thing. But it's still mental. But it's still your. That's fine. Because I think I'm always be like. If you are in a relationship with a man that you like, and he comes in the room naked and you don't. That's then the there's something wrong because of your age. You might not even be attracted to him. You know what I'm saying? But from a sexual sense. You have to be attracted. You have to be attracted. It's all about attraction. And it's mental attraction. So, yeah, by the time you get to that stage, it's all about love and emotions. She connected the dots. But what picture she paint? That's the question. She's connected the dots. Yeah, because what picture she paint? Her mind goes to an emotional state. From a, from a man's standpoint, it's all about physical. Yeah. Yeah. At, a, at a certain age, at a certain age, because Tony and I can see the same thing. He may get aroused, I may not. It's all about your mental capacity for what you are now. At, at an early age, a lot of things can stimulate you faster than you would things that we don't experience. Me. Yeah, me. Clap on that, this is good. Come on, mama, talk. Already had sex with more than you know your hands and toes right. count. You You're know right. what I'm saying? So it's definitely never a physical attraction to me. If it is no emotion involved, you know what I'm saying? Or no love involved, I'm not I'm not kissing with you. I know what you want to compensate with you on that level. It don't matter. Yeah, it don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter how much money you got. It don't matter what you do. It don't matter about anything. It's strictly about how I feel. That's, it. that's good. All right. You hold on to that at 23. I know that's right, baby. 
Yeah, they just dropped eight. 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 I ain't talking about that. You hold on to that at 23. I know a lot of females ain't talking about that. I definitely understand where you're coming from, but I'm not there. You know what I'm saying? I'm just talking a little bit more. She got an old soul. And then, you know, if you watch television, you would think every young female, you could run up on them and they ready to go. If you look at, that's optics. The majority of people don't work like that. Females don't work like that. You get a charge. Is what I have. You just can't see no female buy two drinks and be like, you're ready to go. Like, that's movie shit. Right. Real life, your ass about to be in trouble. Plus, a man, did it go down like that? You antsy about putting in the car anyway. Because now that might be your MO. This is what you do. Right. And me and Bly, we old. Young girl come up to me like that. I think you're going to rob me when I fall asleep. So ain't nothing going on. Ain't nothing going on. Oh, no, it ain't no shit, Mike. Let me tell you what the move is for these young girls out here. Young girl, go to your hotel room, smoke with you, drink with you, go to the bathroom. She slips something in that drink. You knock out. When you wake up, it's one of two moves. Either she done took everything, or here go the other move. On your way to the hotel, you done told her where you at, which room to come to. You waiting for her to come there. She done called the boy. The boy where you at. Told him where you at. Lil Wayne did a whole song about it. Did a whole song called Mona Lisa, listen to the lyrics. And now you up in there doing your thing like a porn star, then you hear this. Now you go to the door, boom, you backed up. They got you like this. She done told him what you got. She done told him where it is. It's quick change. She acting terrified. She in with it too. She done got you set up. So all over the sake, all over the sake of some wet wet. You about to get your ass pistol whipped all over the sake of a fat ass. All over the sake of some big titties, you about to get your ass pistol whipped. And I'm going to tell you right now, you can't explain that story. Your boys don't want to hear that shit. Don't tell me no female set you up and robbed you. That's the reason why you have sex seven days a week so you don't get in situations like that. Bullshit. Because... I, no, that's I, why I, I can do everything. I can do everything at home that another bitch can do outside, but I can get it at home for free. Right, because you're yeah. married. <laughs> you're married. <laughs> you're married. You just ain't paid for it. You're married and you're in a relationship. That scenario right there is for a young cat or a married cat that slipped up. Right, and then that to me that comes with discipline. Because I feel like if your woman doesn't want to have sex seven days a week, your woman or your man, no matter who it is, then the, that that in that relationship it should be respected. And just because you don't doesn't mean that I'm gonna go out here and get some more ass and some more dick. Right. I feel like you should be disciplined right. enough. And to me, that's where it comes in with the relationship because the same thing with the female. You wouldn't want her to go out there and get some head. You don't get a nigga to eat a pussy or her to have some sex. Yeah, she's so crafty. I can't help it. I'm just You're a Jehovah's Witness. Y'all don't talk like that. You know what? They do not, talk, they do not talk about no eating pussy. And Muslims don't talk like that either. Oh, yes, we do. When the sun go down, I'm wrong. Well, we can say what we want to say. Jehovah's Witnesses say what they want to say when the sun go down, too. Yolanda. What? Y'all don't have no doubt. Hey, when y'all fans take a gift, you don't. And y'all don't have You and Jehovah's Witness deserves. Yolanda and Jehovah's Witness deserves. One weekend out the month, no. two weeks out the year. Yolanda is a real, true, ain't no fake no, Jehovah Witness. I believe in Jehovah God. That is tell. my God. That's what I call him. But I'm also what a human. Doing in here, bro, and my God bro, bro. knows that I'm not no robot. He knows that I'm human. People have this false illusion or false uh, uh, whatever reality about Jehovah's Witness. Well, who are you explaining yourself to? Because none of them say nothing about it. Uh, well, you feel well, some kind of way about yeah, religion? I'm some kind of way about okay, it because well, you're talking about my God, Jehovah. Well, hold it. Your God. Black yeah. people always talk about my God. It ain't your damn God. He is my God. You know what I'm saying? It's your God. He's my God. You always want to make some possessive. Don't get my call. My female. My, my God. God. My God. My God. Huh? That's right. He so don't mind me saying you, my you God. You better know him if you make it possessive. Yeah, cool. You better know him if you make it possessive. Yeah. When you say when you say he your God, yeah. then you saying he ain't mine. No, he ain't going to judge. Yeah, he's yeah, he just yours. No, he's yours. He's just no God. No. That's a selfish no. mentality. He's yours too, but I know I got a relationship That's with him. That's a selfish so mentality. He's my God. And what's your God look like? My, what color is it? 
color is it? Oh my God. Your it's song. the God in me. Okay. Hey, it's the God in me. I just want to make sure that's your God. Is it your Jesus too? Yeah, it's your Jesus. Yeah. That's your Jesus? My Jesus and my God. Okay, Jesus is a middle man with you. All right, I get it. <laughs> Say your prayers to Jesus and have him take him to God. I get it. I get it. Oh, Stop. Don't do that. I get it. Ain't no all of them, boo. No, all. I oh, ain't all that. Mm -mm. We cut the middle man out over here. They're not ready for that. We go straight to it. You understand? We go straight to him. I ain't telling you a lot of to go in CVS and ask the lady, do she have crayons? I'm going to just go in CVS and say, you got crayons. Right, and that's what I do. But Jesus I can't deliver my prayers for me. I don't know what he's saying. So I can take mine straight to him. I talk to him just like I'm talking to y'all now. Talk to him. Same perspective. Hey, God, I'm messing up around here. Cover me and my sons and my wife. Make sure she don't leave me. Keep my mom being proud of me. If you wake me up in the morning, I'll give you all the praise as soon as my feet touch the floor. If not, incorporate all the things I've been saying in my family and let everybody at the funeral know I'm not a bad guy. In your name, I pray. Amen. We're just running straight to him. Running straight to him. We pray to God wherever you're at. Pray to God in the shower. Wherever you have to be, hand down. I always say to tell you, right. bow your head and close your eyes so you can't see the shit that they're taking from over you while you're holding your head up. Wow. That's why in the military, wow. they tell you the easiest way for a man to die is not to look up because in Vietnam all they did was get in the top of trees and when you was marching they knew you wouldn't look up and they jump down on your neck and slit your throat so when you say your prayers who the hell said you got to close your eyes and hold your head down for what you better keep your head up because half the world that you missing ain't under your feet it's over your head that's why that Lord's prayer that you've been saying since you was a little girl you break down the lyrics when you get older as it is in heaven, on earth, as it is in heaven. I tell my sons, your heaven can be made right here on earth. Don't you live all these years and tell me you're going to get your reward when you die. Mm -hmm. What kind of life is that? That means you weren't living. You was just existing. Right. Now you're going by the rooms of somebody else that don't even know you. Mm -hmm. Heaven can be made on earth. Hell is what you go through to get it. So that's what I be telling on them interpretations when we start running that religion down, man. All the time, every time. And put that same energy in your God as you would in your relationship or yourself or better in your world, we'd all be talking good. Yeah. We'd all be talking righteous. And nobody wouldn't be sounding selfish. The problem is, is when we try to take it and manipulate it and everybody got a set of rules for them. And everybody got to wait for them. And there's only one way. There's only one way. You can go to Carowinds right now and go to the back of the line and come up the rail and get to the front of the line to the attendant to you and just you say, listen, you got to go to the front and come around. All these people been here. You can do it your way. But there's only one way. That's why we're here talking tonight. Because this right here, this is one of the ways. God in you, okay, well start looking at people and love what you see. Yeah. No matter if they look like you or not. And stop all of that judging. Stop all of that. Stop wanting everybody to think like you. Stop looking at people like something wrong with them if they don't do what you do. Stop looking in the mirror like that big ass nose that he did. Stop looking in the mirror like that melanin skin. Stop trying to bleach and lighten it up. Stop looking in the mirror like them big ass lips and stop talking shit about how your face look. Stop walking down the street and liking people who look like you and stop trying to avoid them and not saying shit to them at your job. Then we bring the God in it. And that's why we do grown man conversations. This is me and Yolanda's way, a Muslim and a Jehovah's Witness coming together under one roof. Anything can be done. Come on, because we try to bring the God in. That's right. That's why we're here on Tuesday nights when it's two people. Or it's 200 people. Right. We don't do it for how many people in the room. If you want to be selfish, then we do it for our God that we believe in who's telling us this is the right thing to do. Because you're bringing people together unbeknownst to them. You're pulling strangers and making them friends, turning a friend into a family. Yeah. Turning families into communities because the community ain't the buildings or the street or the name or the gang. The community is the people. That's why the young boys hit so hard when Nipsey Hussle died. Way out there on the West Coast. Because we all connected. As soon as we learn that we are all connected, the world will be better. 
your world will be better, your family will be better, and your life will be better. As long as we walking around thinking that we control our own destiny, let me know how that shit turn out for you. Right. Every Tuesday night, 8 o'clock, me and my wonderful, beautiful wife, okay, we in here, getting it in, doing what we do. And we appreciate all of y'all coming in, listening, being a part of, and helping us accomplish what we've been trying to accomplish for the last year and three months. And we look forward to building and coming up on two years. Because we won't stop. We like puffy on this. Can't stop. Won't stop. Won't stop. Take that, 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 take that.